friends, Heidi here from Rain Country. God is good all the time. And I'm here for part three in my random thoughts to ponder video series where I'm, I'm talking about all kinds of different topics. And the first two were actually pretty closely related, but this is gonna be different topic altogether. And I'm talking about labels. And what I mean by that is labels that we give to other people or that people give to us. This is something that's been bothering me for a long time. So when it comes to labels, labels come in all kinds of different forms and some people may gladly wear them with pride. But I think it's the same reason why I don't like to call myself any kind of political title because it pigeonholes me and people will wrongly assume what I really believe, no matter what I say. So most people probably already know I'm not a Republican, I'm not a Democrat, I don't like to adhere to any kind of title anyway, but since people like to have at least somewhat of an understanding, if you had to put me under a title, it would be most closely related to libertarian. But I don't even like that because the libertarian party is just as debased and foul as all the rest of them. And so I don't really like being associated with any of them, to be honest. But sometimes we do use labels to help people kind of understand where we're coming from. But again, the problem with that is it sort of pigeonholes people into an area. You know, I can say I have more conservative values, but I don't like to call myself a conservative because of what that entails. And then automatically people want to say, well, you're a Trumpster. Or if they find out that I'm one that, at least for myself, I'm not against vaccines for other people, but for my own personal choice, I refuse vaccines because of what I've learned about them in the past 15 years or so, doing my own personal studies. So then people will start calling me an anti-vaxxer and then automatically assume I voted for Trump and then start insulting me. And it's like, I didn't vote for Trump. But on the other hand, just because I'm not a Trumpster doesn't mean I voted for Biden either. I voted for none of them because that's where I stand. I think they're all debased. I think they're all wicked. And I won't vote for evil. I don't care what color they wear. So that's just an example. I'm not here to start any kind of political debates. In fact, that's what I'm trying to prevent. So this has really kind of come to a head lately because of all the things we're seeing going on in the world. And I, you, you got people that are they don't that are against vaccines that call the people who are for the vaccines sheep and i i think that's kind of hurtful and rude and it does not help the people who are not wanting to get vaccinated it's not going to help their point it's going to make them look juvenile same thing from the other side those who are for vaccines saying that those who are against vaccines are totally uneducated unscientific and whatever names that they want to give them. And both both are wrong to give these kind of labels because we're all, you know, we do educate ourselves, just like I'm sure many of the people that do get vaccines educate themselves from their own side. Sometimes it depends on where you're getting your information. That doesn't make them bad. And it's certainly not going to help us either side to be able to explain why we make the choice that we make. Not that we should have to explain for ourselves anyway we don't owe that to anyone we make our own choices to vaccinate or not to vote for this person or that person based on our conscience our moral decisions and what we think is best for us and for our family and that should be between us and our family and those we're making those choices for not the whole world that's why i don't make my channel all about that kind of stuff because i'm not here to create division i'm hoping to help bring people together in, in their certain commonalities. So I'm gonna throw out a couple other examples. There is one of my followers, there's, I have several followers who are vegans, even though I am not. I've been vegan in the past, but I no longer am for my own health reasons. Now, some people choose to be vegan because they think it's the more moral choice, and that's fine. If that is where their morality lies, then they need to follow that, and I, have nothing against that. And I would hope that they would respect my faith in God and, and in his word as much as I'm going to respect their choice for their, their moral standing in that area. So I'm not going to call him names because of that, 
but I don't want them coming in and making me feel guilty for my own choice. But something that happened somewhat recently was one of my followers who's pretty faithful, who is a vegan, and we've talked about these issues before, and we've come to just respect each other for our opinions and views on that. Yet she made a comment on something. I'm not going to say what the comment was, but somebody else came in and started calling her names, and that really really made me angry. I didn't even respond to it. I just deleted the comment. And even though there's someone who does routinely watch our videos, that's something I won't put up with. I am not going to put up with people basing it on one person's opinion on one little thing, come in and just start labeling them as this, that, and the other thing when they could be completely off base. Just like the fact that I'm not a Trumpster just because I choose not to get vaccinated. I didn't vote for him and I never will if he runs again and I never have. So again, we got to be careful with our labels. I have people on my channel from all different political sides, from all different religions. I have agnostics and atheists, Christians and Hebrew roots. Uh, Catholics and more that follow me. How am I going to speak to any of those people and and help them to learn and grow and become more self-sufficient because that is the goal of my channels to teach people well if I'm alienating them by calling them names simply because their religious viewpoints or their political viewpoints are different from mine how am I going to teach them anything they're not going to want to listen to me and I don't blame them I don't like to listen to people that want to get on their high horse about how I'm wrong and then they want to teach me about something. I'm going to turn them off because they're already too conceited, too full of themselves and think they're better than everybody else. They don't have my attention anymore, even if what they have to teach is good. So if you're trying to get people to understand your point and you feel that it's important, okay, that's fine. Obviously, we don't go in there uh, unsolicited and just start demanding people listen to us. But if they ask, Yes, we can share these things, but if as long as we go about it with a humble attitude, a humble spirit, and making sure that we try to put ourselves in their shoes and understand why they made these choices for themselves, just like our, our neighbors that chose to get fully vaccinated, I know why. And I am totally cool with that. And it had to do with a very sick family member they had that was dying from cancer. And they had to make the choice that was best for them and their family and i respect that and we respect each other and we have a good relationship we don't fight over these things we don't let uh, let these things become divisive and so i think i covered the four main points when we choose to label people especially based on our assumptions we're pigeonholing people into maybe a hole that they don't belong in and we also alienate people and then when we take it that step further and we use these labels as a form as a, of an insult we are creating even more division this thing that we're all supposed to be fighting against this division we're creating more of it by calling each other names and we're not going to get our point across. Nobody's going to want to listen if we keep resorting to that kind of rudeness and cruelty to each other. Nothing wrong with sharing your opinions if it's done respectfully and also showing respect to that person's opinions, even if you do not agree with them. So anyway, this was going to be a little bit of a hot topic. And Again, the purpose of this is to help people to kind of stop and think about their approach when they're talking to other people or about other people. You get on, if we get on Facebook or whatever and we just, we see something we don't agree with and we get in there and just start calling people names, all you're doing is making your side look worse. And, and I've seen it on both sides, on both extremes. I've seen people be just as rude and awful to each other. It doesn't matter what side they're coming from. And every single one of them are giving that side a bad name. And I, I gotta say this because I have a lot of people that are from the left, even far left, that I'm friends with because I know them through my many years of teaching dance, maybe they're extended family, maybe they're old friends. And we can all get along despite the fact that we differ in our views on things. And if I start talking that way, 
they're not going to hear anything I have to say, but because I, re I approach these things in a respectful manner, I find that I get more people that actually on any side that will actually take time to read and listen to what I have to say because of the way I approach it. And I'm not saying I've always been perfect. I've made mistakes too, and I've had to learn from them and I do it all the time. We all make mistakes in how we approach things. And sometimes we also, here's another thing I may add to that, sometimes we also can read something wrong in the wrong context or, you know, because maybe our own heightened state of emotion that we're in and we take it wrong and then it puts us into this fight mode rather than stopping and saying, okay, I'm gonna take a breath because maybe I misunderstood what this person said. And I've done that on YouTube so many times where I've read somebody's comment wrong. I took it completely differently than how it was meant and vice versa. They've taken my comment that was meant to be nice and even agreeing with them as if I was attacking them when it was actually the opposite. So that's the other thing. Make sure that you take time to really, before you get into the defensive mode, make sure you understood what, understand what that person really meant. Maybe they weren't trying to be hurtful and rude. And, and it might just be a poor wording on their choice or a poor listening or reading on your side because of the state that you're in at the time. It happens to all of us because we are all human. And that's this thing that we have to remember we are all human. A lot of us want to hold people to a higher standard than we'll even hold ourselves. So before we start being accusatory, let's stop and look at our own selves and the mistakes that we've made and people we've hurt in the past and just kind of take a deep breath and rethink how we say and do things and especially the names that we call each other and the labels that we want to put on people that could be just totally wrong. If you have any positive experiences where you've where you've been in that, the, any of these situations and you were able to diffuse something that was building up because of your choice of words, feel free to share those with us down below. And let's just be real with each other. I'm not saying that we always got to walk on pins and needles. We shouldn't have to be that way either, you know, because we, we can go so far that, you know, everything is offensive and we see that going on too. Everything is offensive. It doesn't matter what somebody says. But on the other hand, I think it's still good to listen to other people and understand where they're coming from so that we can be more careful with our words so that we can then teach and and bring a message that they will want to hear as well as something that will be a truth. Sometimes the truth hurts though, I will say that. Sometimes the truth hurts on both sides. <laughs> But it doesn't mean we can't learn to be respectful either. Okay, well, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. And I'll be putting the playlist to the series. I've got so many more videos to go in this. If you're just interested in some of the random topics I'm going to be talking about that are just things that you might want to ponder. All right, well, thanks for watching. Take care and God bless.